All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this McFarlane figure, and it is their Batman figure, based on uh, the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice movie. And uh, there's the Ben Affleck Batman, and then he comes with, uh, let's see, two batarangs, two extra hands, gripping hands, and then he comes with uh, a pair of fists, and then also this grapnel gun. And of course, comes with the base and also the Dawn of Justice trading card Batman card there's the back so there's the figure all right so let us take a closer look at Batman there is from the front and uh, you can already tell he has a cloth cape just nice then uh, let's take a look at that likeness of uh, Ben Affleck. Um, it's okay, I like it. Uh, it doesn't exactly look like him, but I can see a little bit of resemblance there. Then uh, here's a closer look. Oops, sorry, let's look at that bodysuit, the belt, and the rest of him. Alright, so as far as articulation, head is on a ball joint, so you can move every which way you want. Really good range, actually. You can look up really well, so that's good. And then uh, shoulders uh, can swing all the way around because they leave a lot of room in there, and then they put the spacer there, which allows his arm to swing around quite a bit. And uh, there is bicep swivel, Oops, right there. Double jointed elbows. Then uh, ball hinge wrists. And as far as the torso is concerned, let's see, he could arch back a little bit, crunch a bit more, a bit more than arching back. Oh, oh, stuck. Why is it stuck? Oh, I think this piece got pushed out. Okay, there we go. And then uh, around the waist, uh, not so much. This is a little tight, but it is on a ball joint as well. And then the legs come up to about that much. Uh, it doesn't really swivel at all that much. And the knees, about that. Ball hinge ankle, and then also toes articulation. So just your standard uh, McFarlane toys figure. So uh, if you have one, you know what to expect uh, as far as uh, range of motion with these guys. And so for the most part, it's quite nice. I like it, but uh, one thing that um, that I saw, I mean, straight out of the box, uh, you could tell his head is a little, uh, his neck is a little long. So, uh, so I want to show you guys what he looks like right now. You could tell his neck is quite long. I mean, it helps with the uh, range of motion, I guess. Look at how far up you can look. I think maybe that's the reasoning for that. Because uh, you can clearly see his head is, uh, his neck is a little too long. But uh, once I uh, took the, uh, I was able to take the peg out of the neck, and then uh, it, which will make him a hundred times better. So here's what it looks like before. And here's how it looks now. So it, the only thing I did was to remove this peg piece, that's all. So once you remove that, look at how much better his neck looks. And uh, right now it's just sitting on top. But uh, if you use some uh, uh, some uh, sticky tack, then uh, he should be able to, you should be able to just leave him like this. Call for photos if you want. You definitely, this is a much, much better look for um, for Batman. So uh, I don't understand why they did that. No. Yeah, probably because the range, I'm guessing. But otherwise, I mean, if you look at it, I mean, how can the designer not realize this when he uh, first designed this figure? I mean, it's very clear and obvious. And uh, I've had people ask me uh, what uh, 
this McFarlane figure would look like with the um, with the Muff Toys uh, Batman head. So here I have this one right here. Pop this off, and uh, if you just putting a straight on, it will not fit. You can see how he lost his neck. Ooh, actually that 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 doesn't look too bad actually but he really doesn't even have a neck anymore I think uh, oh actually it looks is actually not bad look at that it's just sitting on there though but uh, yeah I think it needs a little bit of neck so sticky tag so I'm just gonna put this back here around his chin then let's glue this pop this baby on and there you go so if you want to look at him straight on like that this is how he looks with that head on and uh yeah it fits him perfectly too it does fit him and if you think his neck is too short then you just raise it up a little bit and there you go and i think he looks better down though he does look much better down like this yeah and if you look at him from the side, if I lower him even more, I think from the side he looks really good. Look at that. That looks so menacing. And uh, yeah, so the Muff Toys does work. Uh, the neck portion is a little, I mean, uh, the, um, the face, I mean, the whole head portion is thicker than the uh, McFarlane Toys neck. So it is, uh, if the neck was a little thicker, for McFarlane toys, it would fit him even better, I think. But if I twist him a little bit here, if his head turn, damn, look at that. that. Looks good. Yeah, he looks really good. Oh man. So yeah, uh, if you get your hands on a Muff, Muff Toys head, a Batman head, go for it. And if you plan on getting this Batman, yeah. This is a perfect head sculpt for it. But again, it won't stay on there permanently. Uh, it's just sitting on there with the sticky tag. So you might wanna, yeah, just uh, be mindful that that's gonna be the, the, yeah, the, the, the way of uh, posing him. And then uh, you can see his neck is a little, the opening for the head is a little wider than the actual neck itself. So that's why you're seeing a little gap there. But if you take the full head, the one piece, damn, I just can't get enough of this. Look at that. Look at how good he looks. Let me pull back a little bit more so you guys can see him. See the figure a little bit more. Oh, man. This looks really good, actually. <laughs> I am so surprised how good it looks now. Yeah, look at that. This is perfect. Oh, my goodness. Alright, gave him a little pose. Look at that. Oh my goodness, he looks great. Look at that. Oh, damn. This is awesome. Look at that. So, yeah, really good. Uh, Muff Toys does work. Uh, the head is perfect for this Batman, actually. And if you want to go the extra mile and uh, removing the, the cow, the neck portion, then uh, yeah, you could do it, but uh, it's a somewhat of a irreversible uh, procedure. But uh, I guess if you wanted to put it back together, you could always glue it on. So here I took it off, and uh, this is what it looks like on the bottom. So it's glued on uh, the front portion a little bit here, but the main uh, portion is the center piece here. There's a peg system that goes all the way down the neck, all the way down the neck, and. Uh, you cannot uh, get the whole piece out because it's just so deep in. Uh, you have to cut it somehow and then this is what you're left with. And then you could simply remove the cape and there you have a Batman without a cape. So now you could bring over the Muff Toys one piece. The, the one that has the, uh, the head and the uh, neck attached together with the cape so I'm gonna try to put this cape on him and give him the cow and see what he looks like so the cape does fit uh, nicely uh, the length of it is pretty good 
And then as far as the uh, cow is concerned, so it's just going to sit here on top. Uh, most likely it's going to have to be glued down somehow. If you wanted to use this head sculpt with the neck portion of it, but uh, yeah, let's see what I can do right now. Where the sticky tag? One second. All right, so here I got the head sculpt on, and it's not permanently attached. Uh, I only used the sticky tag to just try it out, and uh, it might look a little high up, but that's how it's gonna be. But uh, still, I think he looks good this way and uh, let me lower down so you guys can see the cape the cape portion is not all the way to the ground but it's fine I think it looks good then let me rotate him around so you guys can see the back of his cape as well so here's what it looks like it drapes very well with the muff toys and uh, I think it looks good for photos, perfect. It's fine for photos, but uh, yeah, most likely I am not gonna do a permanent uh, change to this figure. So eventually, I'll probably put the neck back on. Uh, yeah, I don't think I will uh, glue this head sculpt down to this body completely. Just don't want to. Just not, not yet, not yet. Uh, I don't know yet, but. Uh, Still, he looks quite good with this, but uh, the other version was much better. I think with the uh, with the McFarlane neck and the Muff Toys head and the cape, that would look fantastic. But uh, or, or even the McFarlane cape would be okay. So, yeah, something to think about if you have the Muff Toys, uh, either the single uh, version A, which is the uh, cow as, as one piece. And the cape, that version is okay. You could use it for this as well. And then uh, I think most people would go for the version B uh, with the separated uh, head sculpt with the cow, the, the neck portion, and then the cape. And that one is more versatile and you could do a lot more poses with him. Or even just buying uh, version C, which is just the head. And then you could use the existing McFarlane uh, cape with the McFarlane neck with the Muff Toys head. So yeah, it looks fantastic, and uh, I do recommend this Batman. If you're a Donna Justice uh, Batman fan, then uh, this is a must-have for you. And uh, and if you have the Muff Toys uh, piece, then uh, it's going to work perfectly. So there you go. There's the McFarlane Toys Batman figure from Donna Justice. Thanks for watching.